Hi, I'm Gigi. And I'm Molly. And, and this is Tea Time. time. Academy of Arts. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Jasmine. And, and this is your Phoenix Vision News for October 28th. We hope you had a wonderful weekend. Student-led conferences went great last week. Thank you to every family that attended. Student Council will have meetings every Wednesday from 4.30 to 5.30. Just a reminder for teachers, the PLC meetings are back after this Monday. Town Hall will be this Thursday. Make sure to be on your best behavior and listen to the great information they provide for you. This Thursday will also be a Halloween spirit shirt day for free. Now let's go over to John in, with the spotlight on Miss Apodaca. Good afternoon, Phoenix. I'm John, and today I'll be interviewing Miss Apodaca. So, Miss Apodaca, what do you enjoy most about PAA? Yeah, I enjoy the staff and the students and just the overall culture here. Um, we always laugh, we always have fun, um, just the overall environment. <laughs> That's spooky. Um, <laughs> how can your students rise in your classroom? Um, my students can rise by just showing respect to each other and obviously to the staff. Um, they also can bring 100% effort. You know, some days are harder than others, um, but overall 100% effort is what I look for. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, what do you enjoy most about teaching? Um, what I enjoy about most about teaching is just um, that students, you know, every single day is a different day. Um, and they bring different energies, they make you laugh, um, and some days are a little harder. And so, But I love it. I love it. Every day is dynamic. Every day you have to be flexible. So, so I love it. School's great. Now back to you, Molly and Jasmine. Thank you, John, and thank you to Miss Apodaca for being a vital part of our school. Now let's go over to Haley interviewing Miss Ravinia about NAL. Hello, Phoenix. I'm Haley, and today I'll be interviewing Miss Ravinia about the National Academic League, or NAL. So, Miss Ravinia, what is NAL? NAL, or National Academic League, is a um, competition between um, other groups and schools. Uh, we compete at Central High School and it's similar to like a, a trivia competition. Uh, we also have a presentation component in there as well. That's cool. Um, how do you join? Well, we're gonna have our first practice November 4th in my classroom. We're gonna be here for about an hour. Uh, so if you're interested, just come on in and uh, we'll sign you up and see if it's for you. That's cool. When is the first match? Our first match is November 12th. Uh, against Ron Colley at Central High School. That's good. Now back to you, Molly and Jasmine. Thank you, Haley, and thank you, Mr. Ravinia. Let's see what's up with this week's sports. Hi, I'm Eve. And I'm Mariah. And, and this, this is Phoenix Vision, Vision sports. sports. Boys basketball has their first game November 4th against Vineland. Varsity B at 445 and Varsity A at 545. Boys basketball practices are from 430 to 630 Monday through Thursday. Good job, Central Wildcats, for winning the Bell game. Our PAA band performed with Central's band during the game. Way the rep. Now let's go over to David with our Athlete of the Week. Hi, I'm David here with our Athlete of the Week, Bianca. So what sport do you play? Soccer. Who inspired you to play soccer? My dad or my brother. What has been your highlight of the season? Winning our first game. And how long have you been playing soccer? A year. Thank you. Sounds great. Keep working hard. Now back to you guys. Thank you, David. That's it for this week. Go, Go Phoenix, fight hard, and let's bring home the wins. Now let's see what's up with this week's weather. Thank you, Eve and Mariah. Hello, everybody. I'm Colby. Before this week's weather, here's the weekly weather joke. What do you call dangerous precipitation? A rain of terror. And now it's time for the weather. Today comes in with a high of, 30, of 39 and a low of 22. It will turn cloudy with rain or snow in some spots. There will be snow with varying intensity in the evening. Tuesday, the temperature will decrease with a high of 35 and a low of 9. It will be cold with periods of snow and more snow later in the day. Wednesday will have a high of 39 and a low of 18. It will be overcast and cold during the day with a high chance of rain. The night will be clear and cold. The weather, the weather rises on Thursday with a high of 48 and a low of 20. There will be plenty of sunshine. And did you know that the earth is closest to the sun during the winter? This, this will be a snowy week, and who knows, we might even have a snow day. So stay safe, have fun, and enjoy the weather. Tune in next week for the weekly weather. Now let's see what's going on with Gigi and Michael with Rise of the Phoenix. Thank you, Colby. Hey, Phoenix, I'm Gigi. And I'm Michael. And, and this, this is, is the Rise, Rise of the, the Phoenix. Phoenix. We hope you are having an amazing day. Student Council is every Wednesday from 4.30 to 5.30 after school. And Math Council is every Thursday from 4.30 to 5.30. Let's see what's up with Brooklyn with the Rising Phoenix of the Week. Hello everyone, Brooklyn here with this week's Rising Phoenix of the Week. Shanae, what's your favorite thing about PA? All the amazing teachers and all my friends. What's your goal for this quarter? Uh, to get mainly A's and B's. And how do you rise? 
arise by paying attention in classes and trying to get others to be quiet when it's needed? Thank you, Shanae Ann. Now back to Gigi and Michael. Thank you, Brooklyn. Keep on raising, Shanae. Thank you to the parents and teachers who attended conferences last week. Good job, students, for working hard for your ANET testing. Now let's head to Isaiah discussing Town Hall with Mrs. Goddard. Hello, Phoenix. I'm Isaiah, and I'm here with Mrs. Goddard talking about Town Hall. So, what goes on in Town Hall, Mrs. Goddard? So, Town Hall is an assembly where the entire school gets together. Um, we get to acknowledge amazing students, amazing teachers, doing amazing things in our school. It's inspirational, it's motivational, and it's just a really good time. That's good. And what are the importance of Town Hall? Town Hall is so important to our school because it gets us all together. It shows us what community is. It shows um, a number of students what it is to be a phoenix and how to rise and just how to be the good. That's good. And when is Town Hall? So Town Hall is scheduled, the first Town Hall is scheduled for Thursday, October 31st. And from what it sounds like, it's planned for fifth hour, but that is to be announced. So hang tight, but we are so excited to put that on, and we can't wait to see you guys there. That's good. You heard it here, Phoenix. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Isaiah and Mrs. Goddard. NAL practice starts November 4th. Show up if you are interested. Don't forget to stay tucked and be on your best behavior in all your classes. Thanks to the students who participated in the Central Band at the Bell Game last Friday. And with the rise, I'm Michael. And I'm Gigi. Have a great week, Phoenix. Now back to you, Molly and Jasmine. Thank you, Gigi and Michael. Now let's go over to lunch with Jamie. Oh, hey, it's just me and Isaiah standing in line for lunch here. But since you're here, let me, bring you, let me tell you your lunch menu. I'm Jamie Pearson, and I hope you enjoyed the boneless honey sriracha wings today. It's Miss Jacob's favorite. Tomorrow we'll be having breaded ravioli. Wednesday will be all pork sausage patty. Thursday, breaded popcorn chicken pieces. Monday and Thursday, pizza will be available. Tuesday, when, Tuesday and Wednesday, spicy chicken. Here's a random nutrition fact. Did you know you don't need to eat every two to three hours? If you want to buy an extra pizza, pizza slice, it is now $2. I'm Jamie, and that's your lunch menu for this week. See you later. Now back to you, Molly and Jasmine. Thank you, Jamie. Sounds deliciosa. Now let's go over to Sierra. Hello, Phoenix. I'm Sierra coming at you with this week's episode of Sierra on the Sidewalk. And today, I'm here with my friend Dominic, and we're going to be playing Guess the Song. Let's go. I know this one. I know this one. It's just the way you are, right? Okay, here's the next one. Oh, uh, oh uh, I don't know this one. I don't listen to Justin Bieber. Jesse is a friend. I know this one is Jesse's girl. So my neighbor's wife is married to this dude named Jesse. We don't need, <laughs> we don't need a whole background story. <laughs> She know that she bad, but she claim that she good. Start from New York with a boogie, no hood. I like the way. I don't know this one. I know the I don't part know. partially the lyrics, but. I know this one. Wait, I give you a guess first. Oh, I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's no scrubs. That's it for this week, and see you next time. Thank you, Sierra. With Phoenix Vision News, I'm Jasmine, and I'm Molly. Have a fabulous, wild, and wonderful week. Bye. Woo! Hi, I'm Gigi. And I'm Molly. And, and this, this is Tea, tea time. time. Today's tea is the bell game. Now, you may wonder, what kind of tea can there be about the bell game? Well, well, let us tell you. I, personally, for the bell game, I vote Centennial to win. And I? I vote Central. Which I have a very big problem with, and I will tell you many reasons why. Centennial is a great school. They have a great mascot. I prefer dogs over cats. Why do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good segment, you should put that, that in. That was good. <laughs> Goodbye, tea time. <laughs> Goodbye.